When I was younger, I used to listen to a lot of Jamaican music and smoke bare draw, fam. So I am certified to make this recipe. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are making jerk chicken. This is one from my cookbook. It's one I've done over the years. I grew up around all types of Jamaicans. I grew up in Edmonton and Tottenham where yard shops were there. I was introduced to jerk chicken by my boy Trey. Um, and then ever since I've been on like this hunt around North London to find the best jerk spots. But then I was like, hold on a minute, I can cook. So let me try and make jerk chicken. And then over the course of maybe four years, I've got to a point where I'm like, my jerk chicken's all right. And I stand by it. I say it with chest that if I, if I invite you around for jerk, it's going to be jerky, you get me? Uh, so this one is from the cookbook, actually. Uh, it's one of those recipes that I feel like got slept on in amongst all of it. It kind of like, not that it didn't have a place because it plays a very integral part in my upbringing, my background and who I am as a London boy, North London culture. Um, but I don't feel like many people flicked through the cookbook and saw that there was an absolute fucking ridiculously good jerk chicken recipe in there. So with that being said, I thought we'd do it on camera. Uh, I'm not making all the trimmings. I'm not doing planting. I'm not doing rice and peas. I can't be fucking bothered to be honest with you. Um, what I think you need to, it, it, it'd be great to do jerk chicken, rice and peas, all the trimmings but I feel like it's too much to do at one time. Let's learn how to do things step by step. Let's master a jerk chicken marinade and then we'll move into rice and peas another time. Um, so I've already got a bird marinating in the back which, which I've spatchcocked and then stabbed it, yeah? In true North London fashion. Then just stabbed up this chicken quickly, yeah? Um, knife crime is no joke. We do not appreciate or tolerate knife crime. Put the knives down and scrap it out, fam. What happened to a good old fashioned Oof, you get me? Um, so, my chicken's marinating, spatchcock, stabbed, poured the jerk recipe over it. This is what's gone into my jerk marinade. I'm gonna put it in this blender and make it look like I've blended it, right? And then I'm gonna pull out a chicken that I've already done. I am gonna blend this anyway because I've got a, another chicken that I've got to marinate. So, 25 grams of thyme, which is a bunch of thyme from a supermarket. Half a bunch of coriander. I like to go green with it. Then we have a whole, like not just the thumb piece at the top, an entire thumb of ginger. I'm just gonna cut into four. Like that, that can go in. Five scotch bonnets, yeah. These are actually called Scotch bonnets because they're named after the hats, like a bonnet that people wear in Scotland. Mad. Five Scotch bonnets go in. Two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. That's gonna give us caramel. That's gonna give us sweetness. It's gonna give us deliciousness. An entire onion that I've quartered. Six cloves of garlic. Two big pinches of black pepper. An entire bunch of spring onions or scallions, they play a big part in jerk chicken, so do not scrimp on them. I want a whole fat bunch of them. In here, <clears throat> I have one whole grated nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of allspice, right? That's the, the flavor of jerk chicken allspice. You can use the allspice berry and grind it yourself. I bought mine, already done, straight in. We then have a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. That's gonna give us depth, richness. Imagine this was like Maggi, which gives you that background or browning is basically around the same place, right? And then I go 80 mils of tropical juice. Again, sweetness, acidity, um, the ability to color, all of those things that we want in our jerk marinade. I'm gonna go waz this, yeah, into a fine paste, let it go. But please, whatever you do, when you pour your fucking jerk marinade onto whether it be a fish, a piece of pork, or in this case, a spatchcocked stabbed chicken, please wear gloves, bro. This has got five whole scotch bonnets in it. You touch your willy, yeah? Or you touch your vagina, 
game over, blood. One, I'm not even going to get into stories. But there's been times where I've had hot hands. You get me? Um, I also work with a guy who I walked in on. He's washing his dick and balls in a sink with milk. And I was like, what are you? <laughs> I was like, bro, what are you doing? He was like, I've been cutting chilies all day. Those were just normal chilies. I was, he's in there holding his willy, pouring fucking milk on his bollocks in a sink in a restaurant. So please, glove up. Man them, glove up. Gal them, glove up. Um, and just be careful with this one. There's no like fucking tricks to the marinade. I stabbed my chicken, rubbed it in thoroughly, got some under the skin, and then just stuck it in the fridge. Parchment on top or cling film. And let it marinate minimum. Minimum overnight. Mine has been in the fridge for a day and a half, right? Because I want this to be fucking fantastic. What also what I'm gonna show you today is we're gonna make a coleslaw and we're gonna make a, a jerk barbecue glazy dippy thing, right? With the leftover marinade, because I don't want to throw away the marinade. Um, let's do something special with it. This is gonna get wazzed and it's gonna come back into shot as a piece of marinated chicken. Here is all my ingredients blended up, covering a spatchcock stabbed chicken. What we're gonna do, while my grill comes up to temperature, so just talking to you about the grill, I've got the grill lit. I wanna be at a free count. Um, I've got two logs in there that are gonna help smoke. The thing is with jerk chicken, right, that it's not a quick cook. The, the way that jerk chicken's made is the reverse of how I was taught how to barbecue. So. At no point was Camille teaching me as a kid how to slow roast or how to, to slowly smoke or any of those like traditional American means barbecue. Um, and with jerk chicken in Jamaica and jerk, jerk chicken in your local shops, a lot of the time they're slowly roasted in the oven and then finished on the grill. But if they are on the grill, they're in, on the grill for up to two hours, right? And the idea is to cook it past where it's dry until the collagen's released and you're left with super soft, deep smoky chicken that isn't dry at all because it's just retained its moisture. It's slow cooked like a leg of lamb. That's what we're looking for today. We're not gonna go hard and fast because we want to build flavor, one from smoke, two from fat drips, and three just to let the, the whole marinate homogenize and become this one flavor that we want. We're gonna make a jerk sauce, but right now I'm gonna pull this out, mm, jack chicken. jacket jerk water on the top right leave that to one side we're going to make a little jerk sauce basically um i feel like making a great jerk chicken is fantastic but having something to serve it with like a dip or a jerk barbecue or something like that takes it to that next level so with me being a chef and putting my chefy hat on we're going to do this almost as if we're making a reduction of jerk seasoning and i know that sounds daunting i know it's like for fuck's sake here comes master chef or whatever um but piece of piss all you need is the reserved marinade that your chicken's been sat in yes this has had fucking raw chicken in it yeah the chicken's been in there it's fine we're gonna cook it yeah so the the bacteria and well, not even bacteria because bacteria is a weird word the Things that are in chicken that might make us ill will be cooked out. This is going to get to a point where bacteria can no longer live and then die. So don't say to me, oh man, man's using the mirror mirror to make the mirror mirror. It's bollocks, cuz. Yeah? Worked in kitchens for a long time, probably had the shit twice. Yeah? So leave me alone. Uh, saucepan on, not frying pan. I'm going saucepan for this one. Oil. And a fair bit, because what we need to do in the beginning is we need to fry this paste off almost like we're making a green curry or a red curry or something along those lines um, to give us those deeper flavors. But it also, I feel like when you cook it off, the scotch bonnet starts to sing and the aromats come out, right? Right, so this goes into this pan. Just gonna hit this bird with a good bit of salt, both sides. in the cavity as well as on the skin. Right. Fucking hell, the grill's hot. So I've got all of my heat pushed to one side, right? I don't want to, 
I want to establish grill marks and charring on our bird, but then I want to just be able to leave it and let it just like almost cook in this outdoor oven that we've made, yeah? So, bird goes down, my hands are on fire. Bird down. These little bits of marinade, don't be scared to just stick it back in where it was. Indirect, which means all of my heat's here, yeah? I've got a few bits of charcoal. A couple bits of charcoal underneath my bird that's just gonna keep it ticking over. What we want from this cook, right, is to, to be able just to leave it and understand that it's not gonna fucking burn. So we, the, the great thing about this barbecue is that I can move my heat source up and down. The same with a big log smoker, a big drum smoker. The reason I didn't like the smoker is because it's gonna eat too much fuel to cook one bird off. So I'm gonna just go in with something with a lid, offset, about a five count, lid down. I'm gonna check it every 15 to 20 minutes in the first initial stages, just so that we're building color and flavor on the skin. And then I'm just gonna keep flipping it. We're gonna do a little beer base, and then we got some fucking beautiful jerk barbecue sauce. Squat. Right, so when this first went in the pan, it was very loose and liquidy. I've cooked all the moisture off, so now we're now left with like this fried paste, yeah? I'm gonna add, how much chicken stock's in here? 450 mil, I'm gonna add 200 mil of chicken stock to this. And again, we're gonna reduce. Now the chicken stock's gonna give us like a, gl a glossiness, but it's also gonna give us a meatiness when we start to glaze. We've got some other bits and pieces to go in there, but I want to reduce the chicken stock first, just to give us that depth and that sweetness and carry that jerk marinate all the way. Now, when I'm judging and critiquing jerk shops, yeah, and jerk chicken, one thing that can get you put on the bottom of the list quickly is a poor attention to detail to coleslaw, all right? That's one of the one to five rankings. Chicken might be good, rice and peas might be good, gravy might be delicious. When a coleslaw is lacking, or if you ask for salad and they just give you fucking roughly chopped lettuce and shit tomatoes. I'm not involved, bro. So I'm gonna make a really basic coleslaw. I'm gonna grate, I'm not chopping nothing by hand because fuck that. Um, just enough to make like two portions, really. You don't need to make loads, but coleslaw plays a huge part in my memories of Caribbean food or going to fucking birthday parties where people's mums and aunties are cooked and there's always a massive bowl of really like sweet, almost spicy coleslaw. Um, and I just really enjoy saying the word coleslaw. I've got myself a cabbage. I'm gonna go half, because I'm just gonna grate it. I'm gonna peel away big rough exterior. So I've just got like the heart of the cabbage. I'm just gonna grate it on the big side of the grater. Ready? That's our grated cabbage, right? When I say like attention to detail, I want you to take the cabbage like this into a bowl. I want you to add some salt. And just let the cabbage sit. This is gonna draw, already it's starting to draw the moisture out of this cabbage. We want to draw the moisture out. I don't want a pissy, wishy-washy coleslaw, okay? I don't want it. I don't need that in my life. I don't like it. You can probably tell that I've eaten a lot of shit coleslaw in my time and it really gets to me. Um, gonna grate the carrot on the same side of the grater. I reckon one carrot is plenty. This is more, yes, it's a different flavor, but also it's a color contrast. It's breaks like the whiteness of the coleslaw. Um, and I really like crunchy carrot in a coleslaw, man. Carrots don't have as much moisture, 
So they can just go in as they are. I'm gonna slice up four skinny spring onions. If you've got nice big fat round ones, do two. Take the tops off, tail them, peel them back. Also, I don't, I, as much as I love coleslaw, I don't like big fucking chunks of onion in it either. I don't want to eat a massive bit of onion that blows out all the other flavor. So I want, it's, it's all about balance when it comes to coleslaw. It's about understanding the way the ingredients work um, and acidity. I don't want it drowned in mayo. I want it dressed nicely. So it's just, I'm just, I'm not anal about a lot of things, but I feel like coleslaw is one of those things that I get really annoyed about. Coleslaw and salads. I hate going to kebab shops and the tomatoes are fucking shitty and watery. Put some more love into that, man. Like it's going into someone's food, bro. Give me no fucking dead, rass clot, drippy tomato. I'm all right. Scotch bonnet, no seeds. We're using it for fruitiness and flavor. We're not using it for heat. So I'm gonna take off one cheek, try not to get any seeds in, and I'm just gonna do really fine dice, right? And this is just gonna mix through, give us a flavor, but not give us any of like the heat. So it's just got little specks and flecks of red from Scotchy Bunny. Scotchy B. Sounds like a garage MC, isn't it? So look. See all this water? Get all of this water out of your cabbage. Just squeezing it back into the bowl until you're left with somewhat dry piece of cabbage. Fuck the cabbage water off. Get the cabbage back in. Add in your carrot, your spring onion, and your scotch bonnet. We're going to season with salt first. Remember the cabbage is already quite salty where we've marinated and squeezed it out. So we're gonna season lightly first, mix everything together with half a tablespoon of sugar. And then three tablespoons of mayonnaise, any mayo that you want. Just don't drown it. I want to finish it with a little squash of lime juice. Just to give us that. Huh? Lift, sing, zing. Delicious. Let's have a little taste of this jerk chicken stock that's gonna fuck, it's gonna hurt, isn't it? It's gonna blow my mouth out. Oh, it's hot. It's nice though. So, where, the, where we fried off the jerk seasoning and we've added the chicken stock, we've now got this meaty, delicious, glazy thing, right? or the beginnings of a meaty, delicious, glazy thing. Um, so I, would, I just wanna put in there basic ingredients to, to help elevate. So remember, this has already got juice in it, it's got soy sauce in it, it's got brown sugar in it. It's got things that are gonna help bring us sugar to the top, right? That's gonna give us sweet, salty, barbecue-y and spicy. So what I wanna add to it is some ketchup. I'd say there's about a tablespoon and a half of ketchup. And I want to add 
two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Let's go three. Three tablespoons of barbecue sauce. It's gonna help thicken, but it's also now giving us the base to our jerk sauce, right? And then from here, we can taste and see where our balance is at. Oh, it's jerky. It's hot. It's sweet from barbecue sauce. It's got like a little bit of acid from ketchup. And that's pretty much where I want to keep it. I want to glaze some of the chicken with it, but I also want to serve it on the side. Like pour on the top. Chicken's been going 20 minutes. Look, smoky, starting to build flavor, character, color. So we've cooked it skin side down the entire way. We're now just going to give it the old yeah, nice. So what you get from smoking a chicken is you get taut skin. It's not always crispy, but you get taut skin that's rendered and help based all the way through the chicken. It's almost got like Marbella 2014 suntan. Um, all we want to do is just keep cooking this nice and slow. Let it do its thing. Our sauce is done. Sauce is done, coleslaw's done. All we've really got to do now is just look after it. Let the temperatures be at the right temp, free count, glaze it, give it a little squirt of beer. And we're just gonna let it cook out. So imagine if you were doing this for a barbecue, this, you've got to do this at least an hour before people are planning to get there. Get them all in, whether they be drums or breasts or whatever, get them all in and let them casually smoke and hiss and render and just let them do their thing, man. Don't fucking prod around. You've had to marinate it, grill it, and make a sauce. You ain't got a fucking, you ain't got a rush, rush. about an hour and a half and we've gently smoked this chicken look how juicy it is in here it's taken on loads of color the legs are at a point where they want to fall off and fall apart the breast is still succulent and moist we've done it nice and low and slow it's built up loads of color and loads of flavor and we're just going to do a few bits to it to make it better um, now, I don't know why, they, why, I don't know why people do this, yeah? Every time I've been to a yard barbecue, there's always someone, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, respect, respect, respect. And they just pour beer on the jerk, yeah? If you want to look the part, do that. Just like, yeah man, yeah, Jano star, yeah, 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 yeah man, yeah man. A walk. Give the beer, give the, the chicken a little beer based thing. We're going to move it onto the heat side. And we're just going to start to jerk sauce this son of a bitch. Give it a little base. Breaking news, man I kill him again. Guess I proceed too good. Breaking news, can I proceed? Mm, mm, mm. Use a train, if use a king, treat her like a queen. How's the chorus go? Breaking news, man I kill him again. Guess I proceed too good. Breaking news. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Stop fight with him, make him fight for you like Tyson. You're too nice to him, the boy love him, belly just pies in him. Breaking news. Big tune, Dexter Daps, breaking news. Um, right now I'm in my element. I've done an edible. Uh, it just reminds me of being 16 again at a barbecue with a man them. Drinking Red Stripe, sneaking rum punch, little cheeky. Bifters and that. Uh, we're gonna let yay chicken rest. Little rest up, 15 minutes. 
let the juices come back, uh, and then we're gonna carve this bird up, serve the sauce, serve the coleslaw, jobs are good in. Start fight with him, make him fight for you like Tyson. Oh, that's that jerky stuff, isn't it? The dog's desperate for a piece of chicken. Now, the legs, they just wanna pull away, right? All of that in there. Lovely, cripsy. As my dad would say, Jack Chicken. Jack, J-A-K. Chicken there, mate. Low and slow. Loads of flavor. Just pulls away, I haven't got to do anything to it. Cut straight through this little notch here. Look, man. Just fucking juicy. The dog is dribbling. Just juicy and delicious. Look, you see all that internal juice in there? Yeah, man. Soft, juicy, moist. Gonna give it a little brush of our jerk. Just so it's in every bite. Slow. Right, a beautiful plate of smoked jerk chicken. Bruv. Mental. Um, really good smoke. I, I, I like the way that when you smoke a chicken, the skin becomes quite tight and renders all of its fat out and becomes like this exterior blanket full of flavor. The fucking jerk barbecue sauce is hot, but when I eat jerk chicken, I want, I want heat. I want to cool down with coleslaw, steamed veg, those things. On its own, the chicken is ten. Considering how long we've cooked this, the chicken's a different kind of tender. It's not like just cooked tender. It's cooked for a long time tender. And it's a contender for one of the best things I've cooked on Sunday sessions, man. Honestly. In the recipe, we did jerk pork. Um, sorry, in the book, we did jerk pork. And it's great on pork, but chicken's more universal. We all love it. We can all get our hands on it. I'm telling you, if I blindfolded you, and was like, what are you eating? You'd be like, 100% that's jerk chicken. And I think if I blindfolded you, and was like, who made this? You'd be like, oh, some old yardy. Or some dread. This is dope, man. Um, the outcome is quite spicy, right? So if you're not, if you're not good with heat in general, go to Scotch Bonnets. If you're on the cusp of enjoying hot food, go free. And if you want to go, what I'd say was traditional, go five. Um, but this is legit. 
Coastal, sweet, delicious, acidic. The chicken. Yeah. Just the way jerk chicken should be cooked. Nice and slow. Don't fucking batter it. Go fast on it. Let it do its, let it do its thing. Sometimes, Denzel, I impress myself. And that's years working in kitchens, living where I've lived, being around people a bit that I've been around, experiencing the shit I've experienced, has now come to this beautiful plate of adopted Caribbean food. And it's just a nod and a hats off to all my peoples that were there and molded me into this guy that I am now. I love and appreciate you. And thank you for introducing me to your culture, your food, your music. And that's it. Um, thank you. And should I, should I prove to you that I'm not a racist? Look. See? A racist could stroke my dog like this. In between. Yeah? And that's how you know I'm not a racist. Can you say films? Film. Films. Films.